concentration, cognitive ability, all of the things and all of the measures that we look at as we age. And aging is unfortunately going to not be the best friend of our brain function. So if we want to maintain the very best brain function, we have to take certain conscious steps. And it's not as though this product is the be all and end all of doing that. Certainly it's the most comprehensive and the best product I make in that regard. But there are things we can do that if you smoke, stop smoking. Um, and make, make an effort to improve your diet, increase the amount of omega-3s in your diet, um, do things like being more active. And Daniel Amen, uh, my friend who's a, a doctor, who he's the, the brain specialist, the simple thing we could all do is just be more active. By being more active, we force more blood with oxygen and nutrients into our brain and carry away the waste products. So yes, this is the most exceptional product I make for memory, concentration, mental acuity. It has a long list of ingredients. A separate level is 500 milligrams of acetyl L-carnitine. It contains bacopa, it contains vinpocetine, contains our special standardized ginseng, our special standardized uh, turmeric. Um, so it's as comprehensive as any formula we make can get, but it's up to you to really breathe life into your brain. And by breathing life into your brain, it means getting a bit more active, eating healthier. And if you do those things, and you also take this product, then you really be giving your body the best tools it can to take care of your brain. Because unfortunately, the quality of our life as we age is always going to be challenged by various, various systems in our body because aging is unkind. And aging can be very challenging to our brain, but we can do tremendous things, and that's what Daniel and I recently talked about. We could do tremendous things to change how our brain ages with just a minor effort. So hopefully you'll start with this, and it will inspire you to make those other efforts, and you'll be the beneficiary. Enjoy. line Lydia's Kitchen is special because behind it is my 50 years of experience of cooking in the kitchen and all the things that I love in the kitchen. My grandparents had wheat fields, we made the flour, but between that golden wheat swayed beautiful red poppies and I used to sneak in, collect and make a beautiful bouquet and bring it for the family table for dinner. Get great ingredients, good equipment, and you have yourself a simple, good Italian meal. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. That means beckoning the whole family to the table for the great meal you have just prepared. Oh my gosh, we are so lucky to have Chef Lydia with us live at HSN. Hi everybody, happy Friday. My name is Marlo, I'm so thrilled to be with you. This is an hour I have been waiting for. You guys know I'm a big foodie, um, but I'm a big fan of Chef Lydia. You have watched her on her Emmy Award winning public TV show now, I believe close to 20 years. She is a best-selling author, restaurateur, and she is joining the HSN family with an exclusive line Line of high quality, beautiful, family loving products that we can't wait to share with you. Her cookbook is in stock. It sold out the last time. This is her latest cookbook. Um, it's called A Pot, A Pan, and A Bowl, and they're full of all of her favorite recipes. I'm inviting you to pick up the cookbook. But we love family style cooking, and this brand would not be the same without a Dutch oven and so we have for you our five quart dutch oven it's perfect for all of your family style cooking whether it's soups or stews or your sauces or your pastas that's going to be coming up it is at a great value we're going to be offering it on flex pay so stay tuned for that and a customer favorite you love it it is cast iron but it's all the elements that you love about cast iron like the high heats of 500 degrees but finally, it's lightweight. Yay! We can breathe a sigh of relief. It's nonstick. It comes in beautiful colors like black and the red and the cobalt blue. This is already a customer pick. Most of the reviews are a perfect five star on this one. And if you'd like to call early, we would certainly enjoy hearing from you. Let's come over. It smells so good in the studio. I wish we had smell of vision in our studio. Chef Lydia, I have been watching you for so many years and when I met you a little bit earlier, I told you one of the fa my favorite things about you, and by the way, welcome. So nice Thank to work you. with you. My pleasure. One of my favorite things when I watch your show 
is your passion when you talk about your family, <laughs> your what? grandmother and your grandchildren. And I love that it's all about family and love through cooking and food. And so we're so thrilled to have you here well, at HSN. Thank you, Marla. What a welcome. And you know, food is all about love. It is. And family <laughs> and nurturing and feeding the family. So I'm glad since you're a long time we're, watcher that we're we... kindred spirits in that way. All right. Because <laughs> I love, love doing it. Okay. And one of the ways that you're going to do that with is with this beautiful piece that we're going to be showcasing. I'm going to put the book down for a moment that I hope that you are um, ordering. I know the last time. Oh, by the way, this recipe, every single recipe is a one pot as recipe. Oh, I love it. You know, and here is, you know, like here we're roasting a main course, baking a pasta, all one pot, none of this. So you don't have much to clean. They're easy to clean anyway. But uh, it's, and it's signed, you're right. Yeah, all of them are going to be autographed as well. I know it sold out the last time, and there it were a did. lot of people that didn't get a chance to grab it. At, oh my gosh, when I was preparing for the show, there were a thousand, now they're only 500. Good. Yeah, so all if you'd right. like to grab it, please hurry and grab that one. In the meantime, let's get into our first offer, which is so beautiful. So this is an opportunity for you to shop with us for our nine by 13. We call this a ceramic baker and a serving lid tray. So you get this larger piece. I wanna show it to you. There are two pieces. So that's your nine by 13. And then you actually get the lid that goes along with it, but the lid serves double duty in that it can become that beautiful serving tray. This is an incredible value. It's $49.95 for the two pieces. And of course, I love how it's designed, but it's durable. It's microwave safe. It's freezer safe. It's dishwasher safe. It's oven safe to 450 degrees. It's baked at high temperatures. And not only this is triple service, you can also use it as a coaster. You know, Oh, you, I love it. You bring the, the hot uh, uh, baker right. out of the oven. Where do you put it? You put this, the coaster, put it down like this. You put the hot pl uh, pan right in here. And off to the table you go without any problem. But uh, Marlo, notice here the, the, the large, as you put your fingers, they go halfway in. So you know, a lot of time when you come out of the oven, and even though you have the rags and the, the gloves or whatever, it's hot, those small little handles. You yes, know? that's true. So good handles. And also, if you notice the, the, the wavy the, and dimples, the dimples in here, this sort of prevents from any sticking. Ah. The air is underneath and easy cleaning. Oh, well, we need that. Lots of cheese in Italian dishes. There you go, <laughs> there you go, there you right. go. But that's wonderful that you called that out. That That's yes. what they're there deliberately. So when you get well, this at home, just notice that they're there to help your food release a little bit easier as well. And then when you're not baking something sweet like a bread pudding or a savory dish like a lasagna, you might just be serving cookies and tea. You can absolutely. use that lid as a beautiful little serving dish and here Which, we have it styled out for you perfectly so something like this you could cut up fruit in the morning for your family you can serve it out with the charcuterie here we have it styled out with the little cookies and candy it's perfect marla i have a whole meal here made out of these two in, into in this two ingredients the first, of course, the, the antipasto. As yes. Italians, we like our <laughs> antipasto. So you begin with the antipasto. These also, I have my Ooh. olives in here, this little canisters, if you will. I have the tarali in here, and it's... With, yes. Yes. I like, love those. And the nuts. So, And we're going to be telling you about these in just a moment. So if you'd like to add those to your order, you can. One of the things that I know that we haven't talked about is the beautiful design. And um, so you've designed this with a white porcelain, 100% porcelain, and these beautiful shades of cobalt blues and reds. Okay, let's take a moment. This is the moment I've been waiting for. All these years, I've watched you on PBS, and I know Emmy Award winning, right? I'm holding it for you, Marla. I'm ready. <laughs> I, look, I am going to, I'm gonna grab my fork, if you don't mind. Absolutely, <laughs> go for it. So you can see, you know, here you can, and also oh. the quantity of, of uh, uh, the amount here, this is, Certainly for eight very hungry people, six sure. if you make it a little lower. So you can adjust to how many people, or you can make it even a little bit more fuller, and you have it for 10 or 12. So Yeah, it's perfect. And I love, you know, look at all the cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't skimp on the cheese, right? So while you're eating, I'm gonna tell you about this poppy here. Sure. Now, I love, it's my favorite 
uh, flour. Um, mm. I grew up with... <laughs> Good? Delicious. Ah, and this, easy. Everything I imagine easy, it would be. Easy. All these things you can make in advance. You don't have to worry about the last minute, less on top yes. of the oven cooking. You can have it ready, finish it off in the oven in the last minute. So let's get back to the poppy. My grandpa, I lived in my, I grew up with my grandparents and they had, you know that, and chickens and ducks and we had goats. I love those stories. And I love it. And we have two pigs every year. But she also, we had a farm, a little farm, just enough for the family. And they had a big wheat field. They made the wheat and we went to the mill to get the flour. But in the wheat field, the poppy grew and they were so beautiful. The wheats, the wheat was golden, swaying in the, in the breeze and the poppies. And I would sneak in and collect a handful of poppies and bring them home for the table for dinner. Aww. And so this is a nod back to your childhood and uh, yeah. growing up and on And I the have farm. to share, you know, all about, you know, uh, out there with you, I've been with you 25 years on, on, on PBS. And so uh, I get a lot of email, a lot of connection. And uh, I, I, I feel that, you know, the uh, questions you were asking me, Lydia, how can I decorate things? How can I plate things? Uh, what is the best pan? My daughter's getting married. What should I, what are the basic necessities? So this is part of that thought. Yeah. Extending to you uh, my ideas of what you think. So, so this is, the this design is, is beautiful. And the functionality of it. We're gonna leave these available for you. I know we don't have a lot. These, these are on sale. You'll get both pieces, by the way, on okay. FlexPay. Remember, it is freezer safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, oven safe to 450, and they're beautiful. And they're at a great value. If you'd love to shop, let us get it to you. Next, I wanna talk to everybody about the spoon rest. And I know we have a few of them here. How do you I'll like just, that? These, here, I'm gonna hold it in my hand. And that's important to have, especially Absolutely. with Italian cooking, right? You like, you like a clean stove. And sure this we will, do. But you know, I use it for many other things. I use it, you know, and I put the olives, the pits of the olives, I put it on the table so nice. people can put the pits. You can put some nuts or anything. Toothpicks, you know, sometimes people are tasting, they don't know where to put things. This is ideal. It's beautiful. I love that kind of little pour spout that you have on the side. That holds yeah. the spoons steady. And here's like, a, for example, here's a larger spoon and you're gonna be able to rest that right in the inside. Exactly. Which is exactly. gonna be perfect. If you'd like to pick these up, your item number is 813-742. And I wanna mention the book really quickly. Okay. So now only 400 remaining. Don't wait until the end of the show uh, to buy the book. I know the book, I believe, has over 100 recipes, if my memory serves yes, me correctly. Yes, 110. Yeah. And it's, they're all one-pot recipes. Which is fun. One pot, two pans, and you did that intentionally. Families are busy, and these are recipes that we've watched you over the two decades. Um, some of your family's favorites, these are many of your, your favorite recipes, and so I love how beautiful this is. So, uh, but I want to show you that this baker is great for dessert as well. Here we bake some peaches, and we add the, uh, in the in the uh, I put it in the refrigerator. You can serve it. You can serve it. Oh, I got cream on me. I'll take no problem. I'll take a spoon, uh, uh, a larger spoon, and you bake them. You can serve them warm with ice cream, or. Who doesn't like peaches and cream? So you oh, I think I think I like peaches and cream. Huh? <laughs> okay, you can let's put a a, a, a a little whipped cream, a little whipped cream on top. How's and that? That sounds great. Are you, are you getting a spoon? I am ready because <laughs> we're gonna walk on the other side of the studio and talk about okay. the Dutch oven. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of kind of jam I nice. have here. Nice, nice. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna take, so tell me a little bit about the Dutch oven and why it was so important for you to have this as part of your exclusive brand. I should mention to everyone, um, people have been asking you about cookware and pieces. These are all right. exclusive to HSN. They are, they are. This is my first uh, uh, sort of into really uh, working with some, collaborating with somebody on creating things that I all these years Love. learned, loved in the kitchen. I love that. And you know, uh, as far as, even when you first get married, the question that I get, all you need is one of these Dutch ovens and one of these And you skillets. can feed your family. You absolutely. <laughs> so in this Dutch ovens, you can do a thousand and one things. First of all, we're gonna do some spaghetti and meatballs. I have the, the spaghetti, the sauce and the meatballs there. We're gonna put some pasta to cook right away. And when you cook pasta, salted water, that's salted water, and just sort of 
slide the pasta right in, let it slide in, no oil, none of that, just the the pasta no and oil. The, no. And I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> yes, you have. I have. But, but Lydia's here to save. The, the peach, day. the peaches and cream. Amazing. Yes, yes. Absolutely and amazing. Simple. Just bake in the oven. I know, but it's so delicious. For breakfast, for uh, dessert, oh, wow. whatever. Okay. So the pasta is cooking. And let me put the lid on. You know, this lid, I have to talk about this lid. You see, it's risen, so and it's glass reinforced glass. So you and can it's look clear. It, and it's clear. You can see, but even the handle. You see the handle here. This is stainless. It is an empty sort of uh, uh, knob, so it doesn't retain heat. Mm -hmm. And there's this sort of a separation, so that the heat doesn't travel from here onto the handle. You know those handles. Sometimes you get hot. sure. And and of course my my handles on the side here that I so I can lift this. You know I'm in the kitchen all the time, and uh, you know uh, you, you sort of wait. And this is, this while that's cooking, I made a risotto for you. Oh, that this looks amazing. This is great, because for a risotto, you need a dense. Now, this is cast iron. We all love cast iron. I love cast iron. My grandmother cooked her polenta in the cast yes, iron. Yes. But it was heavy. You needed to uh, seal, uh, seal it. Yes. You need to wash it after you're finished. No, no dishwasher. This is safe. Oven. Dishwasher, non-stick, exactly. Yeah, non-stick, and it's lighter, right? It's a little, it's a little over it's eight, a, a little, a, yeah, almost what eighteen, a little over eighteen percent lighter, which, exactly, I, which I love exactly. that. I can appreciate that big, as well. Big handles and the enamel on the side. These beautiful colors, they look beautiful. In yes, the kitchen, they do. But they're easier to clean. Yeah. So let me finish the risotto. I'm gonna mantecare the risotto. What does mantecare mean? Here, I'm gonna put just some some. A fennel fonds because I did put some fennel onions in the risotto. Just a little bit of hot stock or even water. A little bit of parsley. And you know what it is to mantecare risotto is the last step. And the last step is you add in it a few dabs of butter because there's not much oil. The oil just goes in the beginning. And this is the mantecare. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven right now. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I, I just have to put that out okay, there. Okay, and <laughs> do you, li have to you like cheese? I do. Okay. You have no idea how, how I've watched your show and like wished I was one of your children or grandchildren, right? So here we are. Yeah, no, here we are. <laughs> so tell That's me a little bit about when do you, because, you know, when I look at this five quart, and, and whether it's pasta or something, you know, savory like we're doing and or something sweet that you're going to show us in a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your life. I know that you are busy with your television show. Uh, you're, you're on your what, 13th? The, rest the, the rest restaurant. You're on your 13th or 14th cookbook. Right. You're busy, but what but, are those moments that you cherish with your let family? Me let me share something with you. You know, it's I'm busy, but it's uh, my family that collaborates with me. It's all the people that collaborate. It's not a solitary trip, this. Yeah. You know, I had yeah. a lot of people along the way that helped me. But basically is for, for my family and my workers. My workers, which become kind of a family, you yeah, know? of course. Absolutely. So here is... The risotto. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. It okay. smells divine, And I'm going to pour way. this risotto right into that bowl. Now, the, when you have a bowl like that, you keep it close to the, it's a little warm, so it's not too cold. Okay? Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. That's a good, and by the way, this larger bowl is available, and so you're able to, to find that on our website, and we'll mention that to you. If you would like to shop with us for the five-quart stock pot, it comes in red, cobalt, blue, and black. Look. Wow. Look how clean. And let's all you just have to show just do, that. Yeah, just clean. All you have to, let's see, even shaking it, you'll get most of it out. Yeah, that's perfect. How, how do you like that? But and this, we could literally, like, take a washcloth, right, and just wipe it wipe it right out. Absolutely. Yeah. You want and me I to think do that's, it? that's what's so, I'll do it, I don't mind. And I think that's what's so wonderful about the cookware, right, is that it's nonstick. And it's so easy. You could literally look at this, guys. You literally just wipe that clean, and yes, and yes, and you, no, yeah, perfect. You can go on to the next whatever you want to yeah, do with it. Yeah. Okay, which is perfect. So. And I like the five quart too. You might not always be doing family style meals. Sometimes it's a family of two, but we we like to say cook once. Eat two or three times. So am I to feed you every course, or do you want to skip one and now and then? Um, I'm not interested in skipping anything, <laughs> but I'll let you be the judge of it. Okay. <laughs> let, let but thank me. you for so being so kind. <laughs> I would
would like to try a little bit of everything if okay. you don't mind, right? So that's and so chocolate. I think for so many people, let's talk about this risotto because I think this is an opportunity for all of us to learn. You gave us a good tip about the pasta, no oil. What are the biggest mistakes that people make when they're making their risotto? Okay, risotto. One cup of rice, two cups of, uh, you're looking for a fork. I can yeah, see yeah. That's a desperate I think, look here. Yeah, you did it. I'll use my, I use my spoon for oh, my here peach. It is. Look at this, right in front of you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so one cup of rice makes two cups of risotto and it takes three cups of liquid to get there. So that's a good thing to remember. The risotto never over water it, slowly adding water. And that's that's what I saw you did, yeah. just yeah. Oh, slowly. Water or stock. Stock is better, but water is fine if you know. Okay. And always this, mm. whatever you, the liquid that you add needs to be at the same temperatures that you're cooking. Because oh, you that's a good tip. You don't want to stop the, the temperature. Okay, so the pasta is cooking, and I am going to put a little bit of sauce right in the... Oh. There we go. Because uh, the pasta, I, I usually cook it al dente. So here I have my meatball. I mean, this pan, you know when you cook sauce? Yes. This, they're so wonderful. This Dutch oven, you can make full. It, the temperature is even all around. You have the, the lid slowly so you can cover it, uncover it, and mix it. And you don't have to be afraid that it sticks to the bottom. And one of know? the nice things about the five quart is that obviously on any stove top, but both the lid and the, the Dutch oven are oven safe to 500 degrees. Yeah. We don't usually talk about temperatures like that, but that's why you really love the cast iron because it can hold those high temperatures. Well, temperatures are so important in cooking, you know, when you're searing, when you want a certain uh, finish to your, right. to your proteins, temperatures is important. Temperatures are important when you're are cooking that it's even all over uh, that it's the water doesn't the water temperature doesn't go down right away when you yes. add a new element like pasta and especially if you're searing something you want the temperature of the pot to stay the same this looks so, so good by the way it yeah, looks so like good it? if you're hungry i apologize oh, okay. i will save this pick up the cookbook um, you're getting both the lid and your five quart. This is gonna be the final show, so if you'd like to order, don't miss it. I hope that you're inspired um, and that you that you take advantage of the opportunity to finally get cast iron that doesn't require you to treat it gingerly or to baby it, right? You don't have to, to do all the things that your grandmother and great-grandmother used to do. This is nonstick. Yeah, it's a little bit more lightweight than your traditional cast iron, but as you can see, so functional. You're even going at this nonstick with the metal utensil. Metal? Yeah, um, which no. is, imp you would have never done that before. No problem with the metal, absolutely. Here I can mix the meatballs, everything. So this is, I sauteed the, the pasta. Mm. It took in the flavor of the sauce this way because it finished cooking oh here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in the yes. studio. Yes, okay, let's, let me put some cheese. The cheese you put at the very end. Okay, make a little room there. Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay, that's for Yum, you. Yum, that's plenty. Wait, wait, then I'll give you okay. a little a, a meatball. Ooh, can okay. we give everybody a look at that? All right, yeah, how do you like that? Doesn't that look delicious? I know. So, look again, this is ready to be, and I can pour it. And you know, as I told you, I like hot, just that when you put pasta or rice in a bowl or something, you want it hot. So if you put the bowl just like that on top of the boiling water, always reserve the boiling water because you might need it a little bit to extend the sauce here. Oh. But also, it, it warms up. Your now that's a nice tip. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, I would have never known to do that, but that's yes. a lovely yes. tip. Yes, okay. Yeah. So here oh we are. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so, so I am delicious. going to just family style because we are like a family here, are we not? Yes, indeed. Okay. And we have a lot of people in you the know. control room that are looking, by the way. <laughs> uh, give me an update, Jared. Tell me which one is the most popular. Is it the cobalt blue? I really love the red. I love the red too. The red yeah. is so beautiful. So this again, even though we're we're talking about the, mm, this is the skillet, look. It okay. just wipes clean. Wipes clean and it's good. And you know. Oh my gosh, I, I, this is so wonderful. Good, <laughs> okay. Did they tell you about the hosts that have a good appetite? 
They told me, they told me, I said, I, said I want hosts with good appetite. Good for you. And they did just that. So here we are. Let me put the meatballs here. And family style, you bring to the table this and it just looks, wow. Huh? It looks wonderful and it, and it tastes so divine. Like I just love all the flavors and the garlic and cheese okay. and Parmesan. You know, I, so I, I always, uh, what's important is because these are so beautiful, like this is like a frame. Let me just clean it. Yes. And, and I can show you this. Look, I sh I'll show them how the sauce just slides out. Yes. There is, doesn't stick on the bottom, easy to clean. You know, sometimes sauce sticks around the top yes. and you have to there soak <laughs> it and all that. Right, That's right. Great. Well, this is not the case I here. Think, I think you There's make a great point, right, on why we, we want this Dutch oven, right? Because when you think about the traditional kind of cast iron pieces, they did require quite a bit of extensive care. And with our busy lifestyles, we want to be able to prepare those classic and the iconic dishes that we've always loved, but without oh, the time hi. that it requires to, to have to baby them. So you made us this beautiful bowl of pasta. Look, can you imagine that on the dinner table? Talk about just all the love and the conversations that you guys, the connections that we make in this world where everybody has a phone, Chef Lydia, right? And and uh, everybody's head is in the phone constantly. I love that this brings kind of that that the family back together and around you, the you're table again. The bowls. We had yes. a, we didn't pass it as much. It was there, and we would each go, go in, in and, and, grab, and get what you get what get, you get, want, get, right? Because it was always it? was always plenty to go around too. And who got in first got the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you this. What this uh, uh, pot this is is great for for braising. Okay, it perfect. Is the best because it has that, uh, that intensity and depth that keeps the temperature constant and high. It doesn't drop down right away and nothing sticks to it. So let me give you a nice osobuco. That's another one of my... Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you don't have to eat the whole thing. Look at this. Okay, that's pretty extraordinary. <laughs> This is the you did, you did tell me to pace myself. I probably should have been a better, <laughs> a better listener. So look, look at, well. Oh my gosh. I'll just have a little bite. I think we have a. Um, okay, so. That's and, gorgeous. That look, could be on the cover of a magazine. Isn't that beautiful? And Can we, you, let, let's hold it so that, look at this. Look ahead. at that, how beautiful that is, everyone. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that nice? And this you can make in advance. You can start. I, is it, this recipe in your cookbook? It is. Uh, it is on my cookbook or hey, Tracy, on the website. Hey, Tracy, maybe if I learn how to make this, I can get married. <laughs> uh, no, right? Don't you think? <laughs> I, I will vouch for you after I give you a few lessons. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I'll be happy to take them. <laughs> okay. Because, right? I mean, that's pretty amazing. But now, go in here. Go ahead and okay. break it off. You'll see how, how it will. Right, let me go well, in. Uh, yeah. Look. Here. It's so it's falling apart. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I know it's so tender it's falling apart it's here. It's falling apart. <laughs> but the this. question is here that you sear the meat, you put all the ingredients oh my or the gosh, sauce look and at that. and you can put it in the oven to finish. And oh, you can put wow. it on with the lid so it cooks and inside. And the lid even goes in the oven yeah. to 500 degrees. And you take degrees. the lid off because you want to reduce it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. And here who doesn't like and ribs? And there's more. <laughs> ribs. You know, this, this. We all, I think we all love ribs, right? There you go. I braised the ribs the, the Italian way with beans, with carrots. Ooh. So you have, you have everything in oh, one. Oh, I love and, you that. Know, I tell you about one, one dish. Do you want to tear into that one? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this with the beans, though. Look, look at this. Yeah, how beautiful is that? Okay. And so nice and tender, right? It just falls apart. Okay. And again, this is a, 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 a dish that you can cook in a, in a in this pot and just let it be there. Reheat it in the same pot. Oh, yummy! Finish it up in the oven. Mm. So you know it's so many, so versatile, and you can even go to dessert. Look at that! I have some poached pears right in 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 that. Uh, uh, Okay, so, here, so right here. here's what you need to know. If you'd love to shop with us for the Dutch oven, this is gonna be the final show of the visit. And so, wow, those are really beautiful. Oh my gosh, are those gorgeous. So sweet, I know that looks so fantastic. 
Just and it's like easy, this, right? But it cream. looks, you post them in here. We have some wine, some honey, some sugar, the pear, and you've got it. Yeah, it looks so beautiful though, mm -hmm. right? If you'd love to shop, red is the number one most popular choice. Don't forget the lid comes with it in both the pot and the lid. It's oven safe to 500 degrees. We also have cobalt blue and black. Don't miss your chance to order. Let's head over to our website at hsn.com. So it's Innovation Month for a couple more days, and if you're looking for some of the hottest electronics, then you'll want to go over to our website, and we actually have up to five flexible payments on many of our electronic items. So maybe there is a TV that you're looking for, or a laptop, or a little tablet, or a cell phone, or you know, earbuds, any type of electronics, we certainly have them available for you on our website at hsn.com. We have more with Chef Lydia coming up right here after this. Don't forget to grab the cookbook and come on back for more. HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. Dubai Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? Trusted by millions, she is one of America's most successful female inventors. If somebody's struggling, I look at how could I make that better for them? For 25 years, Joy Mangano has been part of the HSN family. The HSN customer is who I dream about. And she's just getting started. The product we're creating is amazing. Don't miss Joy Mangano here on HSN. Retire? I have too much fun. Well, she is an Emmy Award winning public TV host, best selling author, restaurateur, chef, my mom, grandma. I mean, you you are really an icon, and it is so wonderful to have you here, Chef Lydia, at HSN. I think so many of us have been watching you now on the PBS channel. Um, has it been close to 20 years now? 25. 25 years oh, and going. Uh, yeah. That's pretty extraordinary. Well, you know, I love what I do. I have a passion for what I do. I love feeding. I love nurturing, you know. Uh, I, I come from an upbringing not, that there was not always enough food. And yes. so respecting food, growing food, uh, not wasting food. And yes. I will, you know, I'll show them a lot of them. You know, when we cook on, when we cook on television, you know that I, uh, I show you, don't waste this, put that in the freezer, make, use it for the soup, and, and, and so on. So for me, this is uh, yes. a life of passion. Yes. And, and with the family, I do it with my family, nothing but, even my grandkids, I have five of them. They're all involved in they, they go to school and do their thing, but they love cooking. Oh, I bet they do. By the way, if you love cooking, we have her newest and latest cookbook. It's called A Pot, A Pan, and A Bowl, and there are only 200 remaining, 280 remaining. We started the day with 1,000, and last call, the last time that Chef Lydia was here, it sold out. These are simple recipes. Most of the recipes you can make with one pot or one pan, maybe sometimes two, but they're some of your favorites, and I believe we have over 100 recipes in this one, and so I wanted to just share, and, and also each of them will come autographed, which is a lot of fun, which I think is really great. So I love that. I'm hoping one day we can grow and maybe even have a live audience and they can taste all this delicious food. That would be a I'm lot used of- to that. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that. that. Okay, speaking of entertaining, we are now going to talk about your pasta bowls, which are so important and your serving bowl set. So I wanna show you this next offer. Here, let me turn it this way. Isn't that gorgeous? So I just had a friend that just closed on a house 
last week. Beautiful housewarming gift. But if you love to cook, you want to spend more time with your family and friends. So many of us now are entertaining. This is totally exclusive, and let me tell you what you get. You get four of these gigantic oversized pasta bowls. So imagine, like if you're from an Italian family, you know that it's gonna be oversized, right? These are huge. So the pasta bowls are eight and a half inches by diameter. <laughs> so whether it's tons of pasta or ice cream or whatever it is that you love, but then you also get this extraordinarily beautiful serving bowl that's just under 13 inches and about two and a half inches high. So you get this entire set. I'm buying this today because I just think it's, I love the colors, but I also love how well crafted it is. These are microwave safe. They're freezer safe. And they're also dishwasher safe. And you're showing us something that I think is also very cool. Right. Here, let me show you what it says in the bottom of these bowls. Right? And they feel so elegant, the right? The porcelain. The porcelain the feels high, so rich. But baked at high temperature. Look at this. Grains, bread, desserts, dishwasher safe, microwave safe from Lydia's Kitchen to your table, soup, salad, stir fry, stew, grains, and they really are so beautiful. So you'll get four, these are the bowls, by the way. That's not, not the serving bowl. <laughs> They're just really oversized. But what a great value, you know. Things like this, they, they will sell them a la carte in some of the finer department stores where you're paying $25, $35 for one bowl, and That's you're so buying that by per piece. And I love that you get the four bowls and the, gi look at this gigantic um, pot bowl or serving bowl you also get this as well so it's an extraordinary value but what a wonderful way to present to you and your family look at that look but, at the but pasta look at the salad wow and look at course. that and of course this alone could easily cost you 69.95 for the one larger bowl absolutely you know? absolutely and it's so but you see what I, what I I put it all together here because it's so colorful you look see if you put on the table, if you make your table like this, with a nice sort of underliner, underliner with one color, and all these colors will what pop. Stunning. This looks like like a frame for food. You know, my food. Uh, I like it to be white in the center because that's where the food will. Sure. Be. And then it has a beautiful frame, and it's all it matches, and it's beautiful from the 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 little the container that I have berries in this one. Yes. You know, I had nuts, olives in the other ones. I use it for, for everything. So. I love this that you've done, a little fruit salad. Begin it to end. Salad, pasta, soup. Soup, uh, let me s serve you some soup, you know. You you haven't been eating for a few, <laughs> for a few minutes here. <laughs> okay. But they're beautiful, right? Pasta e fagioli. This is the Italian, you know. Look at Look at it that, is, how gorgeous. Okay. You, and this is that five-quart the... Dutch oven, by the way, that we just presented that was very, very popular. It comes in this cobalt blue. It also comes in the red, and it comes in the black. And that's still, still available. It comes with the red. And the three colors that you've done, not only in the fry pan, but also in the Dutch oven, all notice beautifully complement all of the stoneware that we're featuring for you. So you're right, now with the newer homes, that right, the kitchen is kind of open now, and so everything just uniformly just looks really beautiful. There's that poppy again. Remind <laughs> us of the story of the poppy oh, and why my you... My favorite Yeah, flower, my remind favorite, us of that again. Flower. So also, not only, you know, I have some... The same in the ba uh, baker we, we did, which we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have some chocolate and cherry... Oh, my uh, gosh. ...bread pudding. And uh, let's see, I'm going to give you a little bread pudding. How's that after that? Oh, we, that's wonderful, and the soup is del delicious. I personally really love a good soup. You do? I oh, love I, soups, too. I love soup. And, you know, I encourage everybody to do soups. And you can make a big pot of soup like this, and then and then you can... Yeah, let, me, let me give you a good tip. You make the base. I added the pasta because I knew I was gonna serve some, but don't add the pasta if you're gonna freeze it. If you're gonna freeze it, you take just the the, the carrots and the, thing, the sauce that you made, the soup that you made clear, you put it in container in the freezer. When you're ready, you put it in quart containers, you take it out, make sure you mark it, that you mark it, and that you put the date. And then you pull it out, you add a little bit of water, add your pasta or rice or whatever you want, and you have a meal. That's a very good tip, because I've not done it that way either. I've been doing a lot of things the wrong way. But that's why I'm glad you're here, because you can really teach us, you know, just some of the techniques that you know that work really well. Well, I, I, I do it, you Oh, know. my gosh. Well, that's... <laughs> 
just too big. I'm gonna cut it a little bit for you now. You're oh, getting... wow. Okay. This is uh, chocolate and cherries go very well together. This is the recycling of respect food and whatever. You Recy gotta let everybody look at this. This is, in, this is <laughs> insanely gorgeous. Recycle. And I have the difficult Wait. job of, of having a bite. I'm not finished yet with you. <laughs> I am not finished yet with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you see, sometimes people get over, well, what am I going to top it with? This is a jam. A nice, get a nice cherry it's jam. It's delicious. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of whipped cream. And the and whipped that... cream is homemade, so it yes, tastes yes, delicious. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm going in. So this could be even a dessert. I'm going to grab plate, the you know, cherry. Can... <laughs> right, a little bit of chocolate. And, you know, Mother's Day is coming, is it Oh, not? my goodness. Oh, wow. You're, you're busy. That's but, phenomenally is good. It good? Mm -hmm. Chocolate and cherries go very well together. But I said Mother's Day what is coming. What type of cherries are those? Uh, mm. The Amarena cherries. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing together. Huh? Because they You have, have to share this recipe with everybody because, my gosh. This is, um, this is terrific. Okay, enough of me eating, right? No, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I said, you gotta remember Mother's Day is coming. Great gift for mother. Mother's Day is Sunday, May 14th. Yes. So, and it's a little over two weeks, which is, why you wanna buy now? Because we've gotta have enough time to ship it to you. What are you getting? Everything before me. And there are not a lot of these available. They are really beautiful. They are the beautiful glaze that's 100% stoneware. And they're oversized. They feel rich and they're beautiful. They're functional. They're microwave safe. They're dishwasher safe. Oven safe. Oven, and, and the, I mean, they really are incredible. Grain stews, stir fry salads, soups, ice cream. You get four of the oversized bowls. And then I really know that you'll use this oversized salt uh, for salads and pasta. You'll use this for your fruit salads. That's going to be the larger serving bowl that comes along with it. So you get a total of five pieces for $69.95. Don't miss your chance to grab this one. Um, and of course, you talked about Mother's Day, but all of the holidays that we have. Okay, I want to show this to you. Oh my gosh. So this you showed earlier yes. with olives and yeah. nuts. So let, let me show you, you see how, over, how tall the wall is here? This is a container. It actually comes with a lid. I believe this lid is, is it a bamboo lid? I forgot. Yes, it is. It's a bamboo lid. It actually has that silicone wrapped around it and that's going to seal in the freshness. And that goes right on the very top. Isn't that gorgeous? And uh, nice size, you put a little fruit and berry in it this time, but you had olives, you had nuts in this one. You can sit ch grated cheese, sugar, uh, peperoncino, dry spices, fresh fruits. You can go anywhere with this uh, container. It's a great one. If you're going over to a friend's house and you want to bring them a little something, this is going to be perfect to kind of take with you as well. So if you'd love to have it, and look at how beautifully it ties back to the serving ware, the bowls, the baking dishes that we offered at the top of the hour as well. We have one more piece to share with you, and it's a customer pick. It's a skillet, okay. and this is a favorite. And uh, there, most of the reviews on this skillet are perfect five star. And we want to tell you early on that this is cast iron, but it's close to almost twenty percent lighter than your traditional cast iron. So it's all the things that you love. Why do we love cast iron to begin with? We love cast iron because it retains high heat and it's able to hold those high heats. So whether you're searing a steak or a burger or your vegetables, whatever it is, it's gonna hold those heats and it's gonna retain that heat as well. Three great colors for you to select from, black, red, or the cobalt blue. Those are the colors. Oh, by the way, did I mention non-stick cast iron that does not require seasoning? I know. So it's everything that our grandmothers and great-grandmothers wanted but didn't have. And that's why this has become a customer pick. People buy this when they when they see you and are discovering that you're here at HSN. They they love it. You've got poor spouts. It's the perfect size. It's, it's so versatile. Yes. Even even the handle, a nice long handle, and you know again, just you can pick it up. And I want to show you the handle. Just even this is hot. You see, 
there's, uh, I made the, the, this kind of dug it out so not, the heat doesn't travel through the handle. This hole too prevents the heat from coming to you. And so all of these little details, which, you know, I experienced many a times I burnt my sure. hands, this and that. So right. I want to share it with you. You know, I want to give you my, all my good advice. And I noticed so, that you're cooking on one of these more modern, like glass top stoves. But one of the nice things about cast iron is that it works on all stove tops yeah. and it's even oven safe to 500 degrees. Exactly. So whether there's a bread that you're going to make or the bread pudding that you made a little bit earlier or. Uh, look at this. Yeah. Oh uh, my every, gosh. Every look time. At, look at how that's beautiful. A focaccia. While you do that, that's a focaccia, that's a frittata in the oven. Yeah. That's an apple uh, crumble. Beautiful. And that's home, we call it patata in techa. Home, I know, home potatoes with a little bit of onions and all that. Uh, Everybody loves that. Yeah. But look at the nice color that the potatoes get. In nice and pan. golden brown. Uh, exactly. Yeah. We all love that. So let me show you here. You don't need to put any oil in this uh, nonstick cast iron pan. I'm going to sear some shrimps. The shrimps, you, I seasoned before, a little garlic, a little thyme, a little bit of oil, and Put it right on a hut. And I love that sound of the sizzle. Yes, and you don't want to overcrowd. Make sure because you want to give the shrimp enough space to really caramelize. So there goes the shrimp. And here, what I'm going to do here, lamb chops. I'm going to sear lamb chops. Nice. So you, see, you can have people in your kitchen saying, and you can be cooking. Uh, carelessly in front of them like you're, <laughs> like you're Lydia, let's put it that way. Huh? Okay, so here again, I have lamb chops. Uh, this is called French lamb chops. You can leave the meat and the fat, but you can have your butcher clean this, and it's French, it's called French. But it's, it's beautiful because people can pick it up even with their hands if you have sure. kind of an ager. So again, oil, I have here salt, rosemary, I, the pan doesn't need any oil, you see, less oil, and it will caramelize it beautifully and cook beautifully. The one thing is when you cook in the pan like that and you want that caramelization, don't stir things around. Let them caramelize. Okay. Okay? Leave them alone. Let them rest. Exactly. Leave them alone. And here we are. So I'm going to... Ooh. Raisin. This is chicken cacciatore. How do you like that? Everybody likes it. Everybody loves that. Uh, onion, peppers. And this is so, so great. You did this with, with chicken legs, which are very affordable. You know, we know food is so expensive right exactly. now. And for the families that are looking to really make those meals stretch, right? To make certain that everybody gets nice. Stay, yeah. Yeah. Stay, stay in season uh, with the vegetables. So I have mushrooms here. Mushrooms are year round. I have peppers, but you can also make it with zucchini. And you can first brown the chicken. Yes. And then you make the sauce in it and the vegetables. Here I have some sausage and pepper. Oh again. my gosh, that's one of you my know? favorites. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's easy to make. This pan is ideal for and it. And I look at I'm looking at what you're using. I don't know if we can get a shot. You're going right into this nonstick pan. With, with, a metal. Me with a metal spoon. No which, problem. So, you know, when we think about cast iron, and I imagine when you were growing up that your mother and grandmother probably, your grandparents probably used cast iron, right? Uh, we but had cast iron. My grandmother had the big bowl, uh, kind of round also. She made polenta in it, which is, you know, the yes, cornmeal. Yes, but I bet you it was only in black. Only in black. Right? Only because that's black. all they made back then. Exactly. And I, so I love these pops of color with the red, which is the number look, one bestseller. Look, look at the and color. And the cobalt blue, right, as well. We also have the black if you want that, that wonderful traditional one. Oh, so, nice. So you know what I want you to do? I'm going to go get some potatoes because I'm going to put the lamb okay. on the potatoes. You turn the shrimps. Yes, ma'am. Get, get the here. I'll give you this so you don't... Okay. Just in case. Just in case. Yes. All right, I'm going to make I'm you gonna, proud. Well, here I'm going to put the lamb. Uh, that's it. Make sure that they're nice and brown on all sides. Okay. And tell me, tell me how, how they're doing. They look really great. You know what? One of the things that I'm noticing is how, how nice and even they're, br they're browned, all of them. Okay. Yeah. So, I want to show you. Ooh. This is, this is the home fries. Look how Okay, beautiful. tell me how to make that. <laughs> One thing at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> Look at this. That Look looks so this. good. And and you can leave it in here for the for uh, so that you can reheat it. Look at this. Okay. And I'm gonna put the lamb chops on this. And here I have some mint uh, chutney for the lamb chops. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're smoking in there. I like that. All right. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? You the did shrimp? a beautiful job. Yep. 
Okay. Now let's turn. Look, look at this lamb chops. Look at them. Ooh. Look how beautiful. And you know, when you cook at a high temperature and quick searing, you get that, that outside crust, but the inside is still medium or medium rare or rare, mm. whatever you'd like it. If you want it rare, you have to do it really quick. Gosh, look at okay. how nice and golden okay. those Here are. Here I have the shrimps, which are done because shrimps don't take long. Okay, put it on top of that. So you can see asparagus just dressed a little bit with, grab that one, don't let it run away. Yeah, that one, <laughs> that one's <laughs> trying to get okay. away from us. Okay, so you see the asparagus are steamed, just a little bit of butter or oil or whatever, some toast bread, and voila. And this, you can eat it hot, you can have it at room temperature, it's all set. Let me put this away. And I like what you just did. Did you notice that you're able to grab that handle? And you talked about the look, handles look, early on, look. how you designed them, look. not only longer, but with that opening so that the heat releases away from the fry pan. Exactly. Which I think is so smart. Hey, if you'd like to order, I want to remind you of what your choices are. Don't forget that these are the three choices. Our cobalt blue is going to be the first to sell out. That's the one that we have most limited. Red is the number one popular, most popular color. That's my personal favorite with this. And I usually like the black in cast iron because it just harkens back to my grandmother. But I really do love this red. I don't know if we mentioned, I know that Lydia showed you the helper handle, but I want to also call out that we do have the pour spouts, right? So if it's bacon or maybe a burger or some of the fat that you want to drain off of it, you can do that with those pour spouts and I love that so that everything doesn't run on the side of the pans. It's non-stick, so it makes it very easy to clean. Lamb. <laughs> okay, clean. I'm gonna put it right here because look at this. Perfect. And I'm holding it. Yes. No problem. So I think let's talk about that for a moment because when, in, in when I was preparing for the show, one of the things it talked about is how this cast iron pan is more lightweight than the cast iron pans that we're accustomed to. So it's, I think, I think the number is somewhere a little over 18% more lightweight compared to traditional cast iron. That's a breath of fresh air. That's welcoming. Because we loved how those cast iron pa pans held heat and how they would retain heat and how they would brown our foods, but none of us cared for the heavy weight. And the maintenance that goes along and with it. And the maintenance. It. And of course, you don't have the color, the presentation. Yes. And the enamel around, which is easier to clean. Right, and I love what you talked about because those old fashioned cast iron pans um, that weren't nonstick, this is nonstick, you'd have to season them. And exactly. You have to be very careful with how you, you know, wash them. We have to get a close up of this because my <laughs> gosh. Are you coming to dinner? Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, Look at this. that is, and so that this, is breathtakingly beautiful. So this is a mint touch, you know what? Grab, it's almost too, no, it's too pretty to touch. Take this little one here and it's you, so want, pretty. You don't want to, okay. okay. Oh, God. Well, I will. I will. Okay. Just I, dip I, it a little bit in the mint sauce. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little I'm bit. I'm going to give you this so you don't... All right, thank you. Take a bite and tell bite. me. Tell me what you think. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm going home with you. That's what I think. <laughs> no, you're going to go home to your, to your home and cook. Now, I want to show you also... That's delicious. The, the, the versatility mm, of this pan. I love the mint sauce. I want to show you. Look at this. Mm. This is a focaccia. You can make bread in this, and it comes out, comes, slides right out. And it's the perfect size. There you go. Here is a frittata. And look at how nice and brown that is. Can we show the bottom of that? That's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Even. Gorgeous. Nice and even. Mm -hmm. You make your focaccia, you make the dough. And you know, a focaccia dough too. You can have it and you can put it in the freezer and then you pull it out and then you make your focaccia. Oh. Isn't it nice? And then I'm gonna show you my frittata. Ah, I love that. Okay, so let's go to the frittata. The frittata is still warm, so you want to kind of just loosen it up a little bit. And look at this. Okay, again, clean. I'm going to just clean it up a little bit because it's still hot. And I want to show you. Yeah. Eh? The frittata. And then, of course, 
roast a whole chicken in it. Yeah, which is, which is, you know, for most families, that's so easy and simple to do. And I have around the tomatoes, the potatoes, the uh, carrots. some carrots. It's a whole meal, all in one. And then, of course, we go to dessert. Dessert. So buy yeah. more than one because you can have the roaster in one and dessert going on the, the other. The apple crumble going in another, and you can alternate any way you want it. Yeah. Uh, or braising or whatever. And that was now. the potato that you cooked a little bit earlier. Yes. What yeah. would you like to taste next? I want to taste the potato and some sausage. Okay, let me go. I've tasted everything. <laughs> Almost, all right? Uh, this oh, is listen, the kind of, let's tell find me. let's find out how the cookbook is doing. Um, because you know, we're we're this is your this is her number one best selling pan. If you're just joining us, yes, this is Lydia from over 25 years on PBS and counting. Um, we love the Lydia's Kitchen and uh, restaurant tour, um, best selling author. Um, you are on cookbook number 13? 13, 13. 13. And we have the latest and the newest cookbook. And what's wonderful about the cookbook that we are presenting <clears throat> is that this cookbook is encompassed of all of your favorite recipes, but you are gonna be able to make these dishes with one pan, one pot, maybe two on occasions, but people really love one pan meals and one pot meals, and so. Absolutely, absolutely. This, this you can make the whole meal in one, whether you make chicken cacciatore or the sausages, or whether you make a frittata, you can make the focaccia, you can make the focaccia, then you keep it, and then you can use the, the pan for another thing. So here you have yours, your sausage and your potatoes. Oh my gosh, look at that. And the, the home fries, let me tell you, they come beautiful in this pan because what you do home fries are very, very easy. I don't have to tell you, but I'll tell you my way. So I cook, I boil the potatoes. Okay. And I sort of uh, saute some onions. Sometimes mm. I put in a little of the green peppers and I saute. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I put the cooked potatoes in there and sort of mash them a little bit. Oil and let them mash and let them slowly cook on one side. Then I flip them over and cook the other side. Caramelized both mm. sides. Mm. Good? Wonderful. All right. So caramelize them on, on both sides. On both sides, yeah. They're delicious. Yeah. But don't, don't fret. When you put in the first time, you can <clears throat> even mix them. You don't have to get the pancake right out of the first stack. You're saying mush it down in the pan. And then, and then, <coughs> then you can mix it and it's beginning to brown. And then when you're getting towards the end and you see, okay, now I want to form the pancake. Right. Then you press then it. Then you press it. Into position. So do, <clears throat> do you think we get too anxious a little bit, huh? Yes. Sometimes you have to l be patient in cooking. In the sand, you have to, I told you, let the caramelization You happen. did say that. Don't move. Don't go and start putting things and stirring them around really quickly. Exactly, exactly. Once, especially if you're doing like chops or steak. The shrimp, or, you said let it, put it in the pan, let it caramelize. Absolutely. And then give it a couple of minutes. Absolutely. And then start turning things over. Yeah. yeah. So there lots of wonderful teachings and learnings and tips here. All right, I'm going to go into the sausage. Do you enjoy good sausage? I do. I, yeah. I like every, every part of it. You know, there's, there's, there's one there's only one food that I have difficulties with, and it's an herb. You know what it is? Mm -mm. Cilantro. Mm. I have difficulties. It's, it's, I think it's genetic. They say it's genetic. Oh my gosh, the sausage is so good. good. It has a nice little kick to it. Yeah, I it's like good. spiciness. My food is spicy, nice and spicy, I like that. It's delicious. All right, I'm gonna put this down for a moment because we need to talk about your cookbook. Okay. Over 100 recipes, by the way, beautifully signed. Yours will be hand signed. So if you're a big fan, and I know many of you are, here's your chance to grab it. Um, we started with over a thousand copies. And how many do we have remaining? About a hundred. So if you'd love to shop, this is going to be your final airing. And these are, are you kidding me? It's sold out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Lydia, that was it. What a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Let me give you a hug. Welcome to the HSN family. I love hugs. I cannot. Hugs are great. I cannot wait till you're back. If you'd love to search and shop anything from Lydia's Kitchen, you can find it on our website. Stay tuned. More to come from HSN. Thank you. Ooh,
All right, let's make it official. Happy Mother's Day from everyone here at HSN to all of you at home. Good evening. My name is Sarah, and you are watching a special edition of What a Girl Wants. See how cute this is? They made this for me. It's out of foam. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> we go all out here at HSN. But this is a very special edition of What a Girl Wants. We're usually on Tuesdays. Don't worry, that's not gonna change. Every Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Tonight, Friday night, Friday 